Hey guys, NMS Traveler here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's well and happy New Year's. Today's show will illuminate how I ship hunt in No Man's Sky 2024. If you're new to ship hunting, welcome to the show. You've found the right place to be, as I'll share with you my knowledge of how I ship hunt and how I find the best ships. Now, I'm not gonna lie, finding good ships with good supercharged slots is difficult. It requires time, patience, and grinding. So if you're not down to do that, that's completely fine. Sometimes I really don't feel like twirling around in circles for hours to find something I may or may not like. And that's why I'd love to recommend to you the NMS coordinate exchange on Reddit, where there's plenty of people who have already discovered most likely what you're looking for. But if you're like me and love to explore and discover things, definitely stay to watch the rest. However, sometimes, like I said, I'm just really tired at the end of my day and there's a particular ship I want and I'll go to Reddit and there it is. Boom. Super easy. Either way, let's continue. First off, let's choose our galaxy. If you have more than one galaxy to choose from or access to more than one, then go ahead and choose whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. It's really up to you. Today I think I'll choose maybe 256. Yeah, let's go to Odia Lutai. The Hidden Galaxy. Next, let's go to our options and let's click on the difficulty settings. Scroll all the way down to crafting and item settings and I usually set everything to free. So fuel usage, crafting, purchases, goods availability, inventory, stack limits, etc. I set literally everything to free. I don't want to grind on this game anymore. I did enough of that pre-custom mode. Once that came out, I decided my days of firing off my laser into rocks just to be able to lift off was over. And also grinding for nanites sucks. It literally takes forever. And if it wasn't for the free purchases setting, it would make upgrading ships to find their supercharged slot layout annoying, but not impossible. Anyways, if you're in normal mode, you can still change to custom within the difficulty settings page. We were just there. Just scroll on up all the way to the top and you can always change back after you're done. Okay, you're all set up now. Let's go ship hunting. Now there's three kinds of ships out there. There's classic ships, living ships, and sentinel ships. Let's go classic ship hunting first. Usually I pick any random system with an economy. Sometimes red, blue, and green stars are without economies, so that means no ships. Three star systems have a better chance to spawn exotics, but usually all systems, regardless of their status, have exotics. They just tend to take less time to appear in three star systems, but I have gotten squids and royal exotics with patience in one star economies as well. Make sure your economy scanner is installed in your ship. That way you can read the status of the systems within your galaxy map and also simultaneously use it to scan for trade outposts. Alright guys, once your economy scanner is installed, just go down to your settings, scroll on over to scan for trade outposts and hit enter. Now a trade outpost should appear on your map and you'll simply just make your way there. I usually like to land right on the ground, and after I land, I just make my way on up to the top of the trade outpost and I pop a save beacon. Now there are two ways to do this. One way, you can twirl around in circles until you may or may not find something that you like, and the second way is to reload your game after the first two waves of ships land and leave. And what that will do is usually shuffle the ships up a little bit quicker than just twirling around in circles, but again, it's really up to you. Sometimes if I'm impatient, I will reload, 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 reload. Other times when I'm just wanting to hang out and chill and not do that, then I just whirl around in circles. So again, it's really up to you. And of course, the other way to ship hunt for classic ships is to make your way to the space station. What I like to do is I like to run to the very back and turn my avatar around so it looks like I'm in first person mode and I just wait for the ships to roll in and I prefer to go to space stations when I'm looking for a good supercharged slot layout because obviously it's a lot easier to go up and upgrade your ship from the space station than it is to have to go get a bunch of ships from the trade outpost and then bring them up and do it all over again. Super annoying. So again, when I'm ship hunting for a good supercharged slot layout with classic ships, I always go to space stations. When I'm just looking for a cool ship and I just want to hang out and twirl and whirl, I just go to a trade outpost and do that. Alright guys? Alright, next up is living ship hunting. First up, you're going to want to head on over to the anomaly and go to the Quicksilver vendor. Scroll on down until you find the void eggs. Make sure you have at least 3200 Quicksilver as that's how much it costs for one egg. Once you purchase a Void Egg, you're going to have to go through the mission now. 
If you've already done the mission, you really will have an easier time hunting for living ships. If you do not have the mission complete, you must get it done, and unfortunately there is some waiting in between. But you can always set your time ahead on your PC manually or console if you don't want to wait for your Void Egg mission to be completed, because it is a time sensitive mission and that can be super duper annoying when you have to wait a day for something to grow, so again, set the dates manually after closing the game to tomorrow or whatever date in the future you want. Reload the game and voila, your mission's one day closer to being done. Rinse and repeat and finish the mission today, not next week. Now, once you have your void egg, just pulse in space until you get prompted to stop. Once you get the notification, initiate communication with the being and hatch the egg. Alright guys, after the egg is hatched, make your way on over to the map marker as indicated. And after landing, confirm synthesis to check out its supercharged slot layout. If it's not to your liking, simply reload and reject the being, that way you won't lose your void egg and you can keep continuing pulsing in space and rinsing and repeating until you find something that you like or something with a better supercharged slot layout. That is how I go living ship hunting in 2024. Next up is sentinel ship hunting. First we're going to want to go to our galaxy map and find a dissonant star system. Once we do, we'll warp over there. After we arrive in the system, we're going to want to scan the planets to find the corrupted planet. Once we do, we're going to go land on that planet and start up a fight with the corrupted sentinels. Okay, before you fire on these guys, make sure your ship is nearby because the second you initiate a battle, you're going to have to run to your ship and you won't be able to summon it if you're in combat. So go on ahead and run to your ship. After you do, go into space. Once you're there, you'll begin a space battle with the sentinels. Alright, after you crush them, you will receive only one carrier AI fragment, which sucks, because if you want to ship hunt, you'll need hundreds. Tap your economy scanner, make your way to a trade outpost, and duplicate a few hundred. That way you're not having to start a battle every single time you want a fragment, or every single time you want to go find some sentinel ships. Alright, sell off the remaining portable refiners and whatever else you don't need, then simply hit the AI fragment. Follow your map marker to the sentinel ship and keep hitting it until you find something good. I usually look for class B's with two supercharged slots that are really close to each other, then upgrade the ship at the space station at no cost to me since I'm set on free and if it's not something that's beastly, I simply hit the scanner again and again and again and test out the same ship but different iterations after upgrading on the space station at least for a half an hour until I either find a side by side touching supercharged slot layout or nothing at all. And if there's nothing, I simply move on to another dissonant system, rinse and repeat until I find something. That's literally how I ship hunt for Sentinels in 2024. And though it might take a really long time, you will eventually find something that's just absolutely amazing. Well guys, that's how I ship hunt in No Man's Sky in 2024. I hope you enjoyed this episode and definitely wanted to wish everybody a happy new year. See you next time and don't forget, you're valuable and you matter. This is The Traveler, signing out. Smash that like button, subscribe, and tickle the little bell icon, please.